All right, let the numbers soak up a little bit here. Let's see here. I bought me a comb. We're building an audience for you. That's good. See, I bought me a comb. That way, I don't need to look like uh, I'm unkempt. I used to work on this beard. People don't know that, but I actually work on this thing because I can, you know, but I don't. Oh, been having some long conversations with a lot of very important people in the last three or four days, and uh, there are some things that are uh, occurring. Uh, it's just not going to be a uh, uh, sky is falling video. It's just going to be a kind of a heads up video. There are several, put on a mask yourself, uh, tap the magic wand and try one. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't need a fun look right now. We'll do that toward the end of the video and see what happens. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there are several movements in the country right now. Um, with the advent of Donald Trump taking office, it's kind of uh, not put it on hold, but we have a chance to take a breath to stand back. First off, yet again, I want to try to uh, reinforce people's confidence. And Mr. Trump is going to be president at this Recount. Good afternoon, Esther. This recount stuff is just a bunch of stuff. That's all it is. Don't worry about it. Keep your eye on it. You know, it's, it's fun to, to watch, but it's just a bunch of nonsense. It's Jill. So the only way she can file anything is if she was aggrieved. And the Green Party, I mean, you know, like, uh, she had to be like a 1% or a half percent or something to call a question to. There's, there's no question, you know. Why don't you burn her see her ashes turn green? Anyway, um... As many of you know, I am a Texas secessionist. I'm a Texas nationalist. Uh, that means that I don't like the United States, and I want Texas to be the republic that it's always been. No offense to the people up north, but we got screwed in 1845, and we're just now realizing that we're Well, we've known. Hey, Sandy. We've known we were screwed and everything, but, you know, yeah, sometimes you just lay back and enjoy it for a while. But anyway, back to the back to the deal. Um, the Texas secessionist movement has many layers to it. Hey, Matt, um, has many layers to it. Hey, Wilbur, God bless you and your fifth. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, anyway, has many layers to it. Uh, there are the, the, the far right, which is supposed to build a fence around Texas and man it with, uh, uh, militia and tell anybody you cried across the fence, we're going to shoot you. And then there's people who, uh, want to stay in the union, but we want to work with them, and then there's all kinds of layers in between there. You know, what we're coming down to now is, uh, I'm doing good, Matt. Texas is, uh, in the next two years, is not going to be the same Texas that you see now. This is not conspiracy crap or crazy people talking. This is the way it, it, it's the way it is right now. A lot of people don't know about that. We've been steadily, steadily moving to the right uh, for the last... So, dozen years, and we're almost there, um, we are going to start using something called nullification, and what that, and we've been doing that, uh, what it is is, uh, well, uh, you got to have Obamacare, well, we're not going to do that, oh, well, you got to have gay marriage, no, we ain't going to do that, we want gun control, hmm, nope, not, not going to do it, just not going to do it, we're not going to do it, what are you going to do, what are you, you going to do, America? No, not not America. I don't want my American friends getting mad at me. What do you do, little ten square miles of Washington D.C.? We'll just cut your gas off. Okay, that's the way it works in the real world, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to start more or less operating independently. But this is the this is one segment of a very large scale thing that's going on. Um, California has a secessionist movement going, and I I don't know if they're ahead or behind us. They're a lot louder than we are sometimes. But I don't think this point being missed that Obama's appointed judge made in Michigan the only reason that Obama does not want all the fraud exposed. I have to study that. Okay. I have to study that. Um, <clears throat> then it's like Utah, which they had the, they actually uh, were going to be Deseret. They had ideas of being a, a country called Deseret. Well, Utah, I got a message for you, friends at Utah. We're going to be a republic. All right. Now, you can either go with the flow and become the Republic of Deseret, because the, the, what you know is the United States is beginning to do, unravel, or 
You cannot do that, and you can be a state in the Republic of Arkansas or a state in the Republic of Texas. That's the way it works in the real world. And I only call this video the real world. But anyway, um, I'm working and can't name names, a lot of important people. Stein is appealing this. Of course she's appealing it. Of course she's appealing it. It ain't going to work. The clock is ticking. It's the, she's not going to, Jill Stein is not going to overturn this election. It's not going to happen. Hey, Donna, it's just not going to happen. It's stupid. Uh, people that think she's going to overturn it, uh, that are on that bandwagon, it's not going to happen. You, know, you think, uh, I'm crazy because I'm a secessionist? She's crazy because she thinks she's going to break up a system that, that's been in the United States for over 200 years. You're not going to do it, Jill. That just, see, that's the member, Jill. That, that's the reason, hey, Donna, I'm doing fine, hon. Um, that's the reason you're a member of the Green Party, because you're stupid. Okay, that's the reason right there. See, that's why you have Green. Now, something else I want to touch on while we're talking. Good morning, Donna. Um, back in the day, you had a Republican Party and a Democratic Party. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Exactly right, Les. Exactly right. Um, you had a Republican Democratic Party, okay? Well, George, King George II, George Bush, took care of the Republican Party. He ruined that. And uh, it's over, yeah. Um, and Obama come along and he disassembled the Democratic Party. They, these two so-called parties were exposed, especially this last election with what Donald Trump did. Technically, he's a Republican. Okay, imagine all the voters as beans, and there's white beans and there's pinto beans. And they and say, well, you're this kind of bean, you got to be in this can over here. Or you're this kind of bean, you got to be in this can over here. And then they just tell us, now, beans, we're going to call the shots. We don't care who you want to be the nominee. We're going to tell you who the nominee is going to be. Okay? Well, Oh, Donald, he packed it in her butt just a little bit, took over. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say, as you knew it, there is no more Republican or Democratic Party. There, but there's no Green Party either. That's stupid. May I submit to you a new gathering of people? Um, as Scott Binsack has uh, aptly pointed out, it's got a huge March for America uh, movement going, a huge March for America movement. And what would you say we had an MFA party or Texas uh, Republican party? All right. And you can't. See, what this last election proved, you can't tell people how to vote. Oh, they did their polls and Hillary was already picking out furniture for the White House and all that kind of stuff. Except one, a funny thing happened on the way to the, to the, the voting booth, you know, and she knows it's a ass woman. I mean, she knows it. I mean, she's smart enough to know that. Bill knows it. I don't think Chelsea knows it, you know. But uh, but she will. She'll figure it out. She's a real smart girl. But things are going to change. You are going to see the United States break up into regions. Now, it's still going to be the quote-unquote United States. But there's going to be a little bit more liberty involved. You know, if California wants to have gay men get married and smoke dope, oh, well. All right. If we want to hang Muslims from the courthouse square, oh well. It's as simple as that. Now, if Mexico decides to jump on us, it's already deal this time. Yeah. Uh, Mexico wants to jump over the border and, and oh, excuse me, more or less declare war on us, and we'll get together and jump back on them. If uh, Somebody from ISIS decides he's got to knock another building down and we'll get together and we'll buy one of them bombs and we'll go over there and drop it on Mecca for them and, and let them know what's going on. And then we'll go right back to Texans drilling for oil and Californians growing avocados and people in New York growing money. We are going back to being a federation. That's exactly what I'm saying, Les. That's exactly what I'm saying. And this is not, fellas... I'll be honest with you, this is not a bunch of people in tinfoil hats. This is bankers, lawyers, state senators, state congressmen down here. I meet with them all the time. I talk, they're dead serious. There are at least two billionaires in Texas that are going to fund this. 
and George Soros is not going to beat it, and all the guys are talking their sleeves and all that. You lose. You just lost. Hey, Steve, you just freaking lost. What part of, of shut up do you not understand? The people of America, not just Texas, but the people of America are not going to stand for this anymore. We proved that in the last election. We beat George Soros with a bunch of freaking farmers, and that is a freaking fact. You know who told me he was going to win this election back before the first primary? I'll tell you, I had some very highly educated political analysts. I mean, these, these guys are on the ball. They really are. And you know who they were? I'm going to tell you. Now, you don't tell nobody, okay? It was a bunch of Mormon formers up in the Idaho. <laughs> That's a fact, dude. Now, Ted and I verified that fact with some investigation, but the first time we heard it literally was a bunch of Mormon farmers in Idaho who knew how to count signs. And they told us this man, Donald Trump, is going to be the president. And then the farmers in Pennsylvania and the farmers in Florida and the farmers in Michigan, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, all that, they all said, yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, and it happened. While Hillary danced around L.A. and danced around New York and all that kind of stuff, and all they taking all the polls, you know, they're on New York City, and they're out there in the street, and they're asking, you know, uh, Leroy Brown who's going to vote for and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? They didn't go to Nebraska, did they? They kind of skipped over Utah a little bit. Too, and they, you know, Idaho, you know, he's got them taters up there, you got to worry about them. And now you're worried, huh? Now you're worried. Mm hmm. And you're going to worry more. Because, see, I'm just a simple old boy from Austin, you know, and all this crap that they've been pulling since Obama got in and everything. Well, we're not like that. See, Doc's on, yeah. Yep, heard on that. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, me and Doc are on the same sheet of music. We talked on the phone yesterday, by the way. We're good friends. You know, we have seen the red lights on our forehead while we talked. All right. But anyway, um, oh, where was I? You got me laughing. Um, uh, all this talk about, uh, well, we're not like that. No, no. We just want peace for America. We love the liberals. They're so good. And that nice young gay couple down on the street down there. They make good cookies. Mm -hmm. We got a little list, folks, and there'll none of them be missed. Simple as that. This nonsense is coming to an end. Okay? I don't want my granddaughter marrying her girlfriend. Okay? I don't want a bunch of people coming over the border and just because they get 100 miles Inside the border, they get food stamps, medical care, a free chihuahua, you know, and I don't want to meet their sister either. We're tired of it. We're just damn sick and tired of it. And there's going to be a little retribution, and it's going to be unfair. You know, we have freedom of religion in Texas, but we don't have freedom of system. You can come in here, you can pray to a goat for all we care, you know, but don't come in here calling yourself a religion. And you start setting up a political court system in contradiction to the one that we already have in place. Because you know what we else we got? We got a, a long, tall tree and a short piece of rope. Okay? We took this state away from Mexico and we stole it. Okay? As simple as that. And what the, the virus that we got is contagious. And the people in California call it big time because they're tired too. You know, in fact, most of the people around the country have caught this virus because we're all tired of it. Oh, Obama was so politically correct. He was in South Chicago and everything. Oh, that kind of, yeah, uh -huh, right. Well, okay, we've had him. Now we had a black president. <laughs> we're all so happy. Everybody's glad we had a black president. Yeah, Sharia law. Yeah, we're so, so glad of that. Okay, well, he's going home. Okay, so now we get back to business. And I'm not being a racist here. Don't even go there. What it is, is we put up with this crap for eight years. We were about to put up with it for eight more. You know, but Sorrel's check bounced at the, at the poll bank. 
Okay, that's the way. Now, what I'm telling you people is the truth. This is the truth. And look, there's no tinfoil hat up here. There's no tinfoil hat. You know, and I'm encouraging Americans, you Americans, to jump on the bandwagon with us. I'm in California so sick of it. Donna, California is just Texas with better weather. The people in California are wonderful, wonderful people, and they're sick of it. The, the, the most, one of the most beautiful places in the world, completely ruined. Had real polls you see, a year ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Canceled her fireworks. <laughs> That's because he set her ass on fire. Didn't need no fireworks when she's up there burning up. After she drank herself to sleep at night, she lost, couldn't even come out and concede the election exactly. It's about, not about racism, it's what about, yeah, and that's, this address racism a little bit, because I'm just about tired of that crap, too. Damn racism crap. Every time you disagree with damn liberals, everything, oh, well, you're a racist. You said that because you're a racist and everything. Okay, I'm a racist. I am a racist. Everybody write that down. I am a racist. Now, what you going to do about it? Or like Jim Brown would say, what you going to do? What's going to do? It don't matter if I'm really a racist or not. You know, but see, that's been the Trump card. Right? Support Trump. Right. Right, April. Right. <clears throat> but that, you know, that with, with all of us uh, people of the cracker persuasion, you know, we've been scared to death that, well, I just don't think Mr. Obama's right about doing this and everything. <gasps> you a racist. Oh, no, no, I'm not a racist. I love watermelon. The hell with that, you know. You're a racist. Okay, I'm a racist. What? What? Why does that have to affect my political thought? You know, I don't like Black Lives Matter. I think it's stupid. You know, they miss it. You know, that's how illiterate they are. You know, that's how illiterate they are. Uh, no frontal lobe or something. They could have said Black Lives Matter too. Yeah, it works. But they had to be adversarial. They had to be contradictory. They had to be angry. They, if Black Lives Mattered so damn much, then why ain't they down there picketing them abortion clinics? The biggest one in the country is in Houston, where 70% of the babies that die are black. Mm-hmm. Ann, what was her name? Uh, I can't remember her last name now. Ann girl that invented Planned Parenthood. Uh, let's see, what'd she say? Good morning, Wendy. What'd she say? Oh, yeah. Black people are like weeds that must be exterminated. Hillary prays toward her grave five times a day. And the liberals eat it up. Eat it up. I mean, you know, there it is. Yeah, they eat it up. But if an old Texan like me says, um, yeah, it is, Matt. If an old Texan like me says, I don't like, I don't like what that, that bitch had to say, you just a racist. I'm a racist? I never killed a black baby in my life. You know? And I'm a racist? Uh, you know, uh, in, fact, in fact, as a matter of fact, I, I just had an epiphany today. I went to H-E-B to pick up some stuff, and I have a limp, and everything is cold as a witch's tit down here right now, and I was limping out across... And two young black men approached me in the hoodies. And they reached for me. And they took me by my arms. And they said, sir, can we help you inside? When I went around to the, to the uh, center where I was buying some smells for the house, because we wanted to get the house smelling good, I was in my little cart, and a very pretty young black student, high school girl, walked up behind me and said, let me help you, sir. And she reached and grabbed it. Okay. But now this will never happen in Detroit, you know, because that kind of stuff only happens in Texas, you know. You know, in between the lynch mobs and the Ku Klux Klan and all that kind of stuff. Well, because we don't get along down here. No, we never did. If you believe that, if I got a bridge for you and it's on aisle five, you know, we do get along in Texas because it's just too damn hard down here. This is hard country. Greg... Well, hey, Greg, how you doing? It's too hard. But so do away with the racist thing. Once we get the racist out of the White House, then we won't have a racist problem anymore. You know, Michelle's so upset, she hadn't shaved in four days. Hmm? Really? But this is just, uh, there is a secessionist movement going. 
Um, we're leaning now toward um, we we don't think we can actually just tell the United States to go suck it and and go that way. So what we're going to do, we may not be able to divorce Washington D.C., but we'll damn sure be the cheating wife and make them put up with the boyfriend in the back room. Yep, you know, we damn sure will. And everything, and we'll just do it our way. And once we start, then everybody else is going to start. You know, the Californians are going to do whatever the hell they want to do. We're going to do whatever the heck we want to do. The Mormons, I ain't going to touch on that because, you know, the, the, the LDS, they believe one way, and the FLDS believes another way, and neither one of them thinks the other one is legitimate and everything. But that's just their beliefs. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. They're wonderful people. They have a wonderful culture, the whole bunch of them. You know, and they're not racist. Mr. Witt, friend me, on, friend me and I will friend you back, Steve. Just hit me on that and I will, I will friend you back. Now, <clears throat> there are two websites, Texas, uh, texastribulations.com and another one called Defense of Texas, let's see, Defense of Texas Society.com. And that's going to be a thing that my partner Ted is going with, D-O-T-S, Defense of Texas Society.com. And what we're going to do, what he's going to do is connect the dots. Now, I'd like to also mention Becky Williams, who is a friend of mine. Uh, she has some political aspirations, and I am going to be helping and writing for her. Hello from Vermont. Yeah, Tammy, when I talk about Americans, I'm talking about those bastards in Washington. I'm not talking about people, good people from all over the country that are fed up as I am. Okay. Uh, where are you? I love you, man. Thank you. I love you too, Matt. Thank you, man. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be working with Becky Williams and her crew, and I cannot tell you any details because I'm under, uh, you know, a situation. When you're doing and that level of politics, you don't throw all your cards on the table, but she has some good plans, and she wants to shake up the, the political landscape a little bit, and I'm going to help, help try to make that happen for her. Wonderful lady, very cowgirl. You know, that's the reason I put up the, the little link today for the song... Uh, like Texas in 1880, that's a little, little tip of the hat to, to Becky Williams and everything. Now, I want y'all to also, um, you, Scott, and Mr. Le Mr. Les are realest people I've ever met. You hear that, Les? You're the realest person that Matt ever met. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, my friend Doc Green, oh, my God, Master Chief, glad to see you're home. Fellas, this is my uh, my son, my oldest son, Wilbur William Witt III. He is a Master Chief in the Navy, and he is my pride and joy. Everything I ever screwed up with, he came along and fixed up. And he is the father of my two of my grandchildren, uh, Kylie, which is my granddaughter, who is the prettiest girl in Southern California, and little Will, Wilbur William Witt IV, who is an up-and-coming Master Chief. So... That, that, hey, that, that blew me away. I'm going to have to cut this short and make some coffee. I, Wilbur has been over to the Middle East more times than Mohammed, and every time he goes over there, I have a pin up my ass because I'm worried he's going to get hurt. So when he shows back up, that makes my day. Everything's going good here, son. Give me a call tonight or whenever you get a chance. All right, because I've got a lot to tell you. Anyway, back on Becky. and uh, I want you all to um, check out hashtag Amazing Doc Green Show or on American Voice Radio, the amazing Doc Green, um, and check out what he does from uh, Central Central Texas time from 1 o'clock until 3 o'clock every day. Um, we're national. Well, he's national. He has been a show now and then, but he's national. And um, like uh, was pointed out here, so you're saying the same thing Doc said. <laughs> and no shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. Who said that? Anyway, you know, we're all together. We're all together. But no, uh, you know, y'all go ahead. I, I ought to put the hashtags on here. I know. You're always running. You're always running, son. Carry on, Chief. Following seas. Following seas, Master Chief. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to cut this short. I'm going to make me some eggs. I ain't eating nothing today. And everything, I'm going to go ahead and put this up. You guys um, hang tough. This is going to be the article. We've actually got 
two articles in the can, but because of the nature of what they are and the plans we're making in the political landscape down here, we're holding them in the can until we make certain moves. So the next couple of days they'll be out. I'll probably send one down to Crystal Lee down in Houston and let her run it in the, uh, the damn good times. But um, anyway, that's it. Y'all be good. Thank you so much for being here. Share this video like they're going to quit making them tomorrow. Support Doc. Support Becky. Uh, support me. And uh, be like Texas in 1880. Y'all listen to the song.